Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Play's Scholar of the First Sin. At the end of the last episode, we had just taken out the Twin Dragon Riders after a sad failed attempt. But now I'm in Majula, and the reason I'm in Majula is that I had a request from one of our viewers who wanted to actually see what I do in Majula kind of in between areas. So I decided, you know what, I'm not going to show it every time, but I can absolutely give in this one time at the very least. So what I tend to do is I come back, I take a look at my inventory to see what... Uh, soul consumables I've picked up and I use them all right now I'm leaving all the boss souls on this character because I don't know what I want to try next and I'd like to actually have some variety as far as using some of the bigger weapons later on but any of the smaller ones I do use which I've already done and then I stock up on any items that I think I'm going to need for example I am out of homeward bones or I have one left so I'm going to pick up a few of those just nine get a nice round number and that's it with sweet Shalquar. And now I'm going to head over to Melentia, buy some items from her. I always buy my consumables anytime I'm in Majula before I level up with the Emerald Herald. So we'll go, you can see the sad Black Scorpion Singer, rest in peace, Man Scorpion Tark. We will, we will avenge you or at least honor you if we can. So I bought the max number of life gems. These are the last three bright bugs we're going to be able to purchase from Melentia because we've killed all four of the great ones. I already have two and they're really expensive right now so I'm going to hold off on those. I don't really need anything else but what I am going to do before I put any points into leveling is I'm actually going to talk to Lenegrast and I want to upgrade the Rebel's Great Shield. I find myself using it a lot more because of the incredible uh well, the stability is not that great. It's 65. It's not terrible, but it has really good elemental defenses. So I think I'm actually going to upgrade this to plus 10. I have plenty of upgrade materials. So we're just going to run through this. Here we go. Large side night shards. There's our chunks. And look at how many uh, slabs we have. We already have 11. Absolutely absurd. So we're going to go up to 77.5 physical, 92.5 for most elementals, 88.7 for what appears to be. I think that's dark, right? Let's just double check. Yeah, dark reduction. And then up to 70 stability. So that's actually really good. So very, very happy with that shield. I'm, I've been having fun with this build, so I do expect I'll be using it at least for this episode, if not the next. But now let's see if we can get two points from the Emerald Herald with the souls we have left. Oh, I just gored her with my horns. Uh, yes, we can get two. So I am happy with my health. I would definitely like more stamina, however. So I think we're going to just put two points right into there. There we go. And what do we have left? 15,000? Alright. I don't like to leave if I have souls on me. So we might as well just go here and buy... Oh, I don't know. Oh, three throwing knives. How about 41 fire bombs And 17 witching urns. Am I ever going to use those? Nah. Absolutely not. But anyway... That's typically what I do. If there's any new NPCs, I'll go and talk to them. I guess I could have actually bought some stones from Cloan, but that's all right. So, the next time you see me, I will be in Drang Lake Castle. Here we are in the central Drang Lake Castle bonfire. Benny is already gone because we've already exhausted his dialogue and we rested. So there's nothing more we need to do there. We're not going to go up those stairs. That is the back way. Instead, we're going to run down here to where the elevator is. Elevator that we can't do anything with. And you guys know that that door will lead to the next boss. You can see, can't even access this lever. And that means we have one option, and that is to climb. Wow. Kind of creepy looking from the back climbing, huh? It's like this wily horned goat suddenly just scaling a ladder. Really cool from the side, though. Okay, now I heard that there was a change here. And that change, if I heard correctly, is that these guys don't actually animate. Yeah, that seems to be the case, which means that I can't light this golem up, which means I can't access that elevator. Oh, oh, hey! That's, why are you here? Why are you... Okay, wall warriors present and accounted for. Normally only find them in the undead crypt. So let's see, maybe... Maybe there's actually one next to the golem? No? Alright. Do I have life gems on my hotbar? I do. So what I heard you have to do is that you actually have to... Oh dear. Yep, there they are. <laughs> you need to trail these guys into this room. Oh, they're just mannequins. I thought they were actually shadow warriors. Well, that ought to do it. 
and there we go. Now there is a trick to unpetrifying these guys. I will talk about that more in a future episode when I can actually do it. But just so you know, there is a way to actually unpetrify all those if you want to farm for your your stone soldier armor or if you want to get the titanite slabs that they drop at fairly decent drop rate too. Soul great sword. Who's this? Oh, cell sword. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right, this room. Whoa! Excuse me? I was gonna say this room has a primal knight and a couple sand knights, but no, no, no. It just has the horse from the executioner's chariot. Uh, come again? Why? Why are you here? Good damage. Watch the kick. Come on, give me something else. That'll work. I, I don't... I mean, I have nothing. I have no words that can explain how I feel about the fact that the horse is present in Drang Lake Castle. Oh, 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 look at that block with the Rebel's Great Shield. Even though Dark happens to be... How about a finish? Oh... Oh yeah, good flourish finish. Even though Dark happens to be the lowest of the defenses on the Rebel's Great Shield. What? <laughs> I, can't, I can't even express. Uh, anyway, even though it's the lowest, it does actually do a good job. And there's no Alon Captains firing great arrows down at you. But I do see something up there. Oh. Oh, we have Old Knights. Wonderful. I got Gower's Ring of Protection from that guy. That's, that is peculiar. That is... <laughs> Uh, where is it? I don't even know what it looks like. I've never used Gower's Ring. There it is. So it reduces damage taken from behind. It used to block backstabs completely. I believe that that has been nerfed. So you can get backstab. You just take a lot less damage. And of course, old knights with severely increased health. And how many are there? There's at least two more, one on each side, but maybe that's it. All in all, that's maybe not as bad as the Alon Captains were. Oh, oh, are you linked for some reason? It appears you might be. Do your thing, come on. And finish. All right, interesting. Oh, I got the Ultra Great Sword. I guess we could potentially use that. All right, now, here's something that you should pay attention to. This chest has a lock. I believe that means it's a mimic, but I don't see it breathing. You can kind of see inside, and uh, you know what those look like teeth. Yeah, those look like teeth. All right, ready? Yeah, fool me once. Shame, shame on me. Very much shame on me. How about round two? This time, I may be just gonna hit him once and then back off because the uh, the hitbox on that grab attack is is something to uh, to be respected. Oh wow, hyper armor right there, Jiminy. Yeah, do your thing. Okay, stop breaking my gear. There we go. All right, that's how it should be done. Petrify Dragon Bone in the Washing Pole. Another very interesting change. The Washing Pole. Okay, fine. It's it's kind of a random weapon. It can it can belong here. I'm still kind of confused and torn. All right, no locks on this one. As to why. The horse from the Executioner's Chariot was here, and it dropped the Gower's Ring of Protection. I, You lower aficionados out there, if you want to try to explain that to me in a way that doesn't make me go, huh, then uh, by all means, go right ahead. Alright, overall, this room is, is definitely toned down, I think, from the way it was before, because trying to find the Primal Knight, the two Sian Knights, and having the Alon Captains raining great arrows down at you, it was a bit much. 
It was a bit much. Wow, we don't even have a Primal Knight here. They got rid of a lot of Primal Knights, it seems. It's a shame that this door still doesn't open, even though it really wouldn't go anywhere. But still, it should. Wow, and even just one Alon Captain up here? That's surprising. Very interesting. Used to be three up there. What? Oh, excuse me. There's a gargoyle. I'll be right back. Oh, and did you just hop down? Oh, you're just gonna... You're gonna fight me wherever I am, aren't you? Hey, where are you going? All right. Nice try. Oh, I'm gonna take some damage here. I'm gonna take some massive damage here. Block it. And finish. Whew. Okay. <laughs> they got rid of some of the Elan captains to make room for the gargoyle. That. Drangley Castle. You have never been more surprising. Uh. uh whoa, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me, uh. Let me reiterate. Drangley Castle. You just won't stop with the surprises. Oh my goodness. And of course she hits me with that right in the face. All right, Wall Warrior, scram, all right? I don't have time for your nonsense. Wowza. All right. Let's uh, let's eat some Pop Rocks here. And I think, yep, let's go here. Okay, good. One down, one down. The other one's gonna be easy. Just let her do her thing. Do a cast of something, please. There we go. And you're done. Alright, Desert Sorceresses. Now it's time to explain yourself. Why are you here? Ay, caramba. And you, Wall Warrior. Whatever. You don't bother me. Not nearly as much. I just got the trifecta. Dusk Herbs, Dragon Charm, and the Desert Sorceress top. What do we think? Is it, uh... Is it time for a little little Fashion Soul switcherino? It sure isn't. Oh, hey. I just had a cat fight under my chair. Thanks, guys. It's not like I'm trying to record or anything. There we go. There is our SS Flash Yard. That'll actually top us off at 12, so that is the maximum amount. And we are at plus 5. So with that shard, once we give that to the Emerald Herald, we will be maxed out on SS Flash, both in the number and the strength. Well, that is Drangley Castle in a nutshell, minus the elevator that goes up. We're not going to go up there now because we won't even be able to do everything because we don't have the key to the embedded. So once I've done the Shrine of Amana and I got the key to the embedded from the Demon of Song, then we'll actually go up there and see what loot we can get. But for now, this area is locked because I have to go up here to get the key because I've apparently never played Dark Souls 2. Hmm. Interesting. Whoever was just singing just ran out of breath apparently in the last doo doos. So you'll have to finish yourself. Wow, I I forgot pleasantly just how long this elevator ride is. Oh boy. Alright, yes. This is the embedded. He has a bit of a keyhole for a face. He is guarding a captured Milfinito. We'll have to rescue her once we get that key to the embedded I just talked about. But here we have the key to the King's Passage, which is going to open up that door. And... A Soul Vessel and a Fire Seed. Change our stats and upgrade our Pyro Flame that we haven't used at all. Probably won't on this character, to be honest. And Strong Magic Shield. Alright. Back at the bottom. I especially like the jewels on this helm. Very creepy. What a terrifying mask. 
I like this build though. It just to me it is just it is it's scary. It's you someone you don't want to run into in a in a darkened hallway or in the woods. Can you imagine that? Ugh. See this thing charging at you with a glowing blue sword. And now, let's see if anything has changed between us and that fog gate. Well, I don't actually see a CN knight, I don't think. So it's just going to be the, the horse statues. I forget what they're actually called. But we're going to try to kill them preemptively. If we can. And we can get one. Second one did come to life, but we killed him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A little premature on the attack. Wow, that uh, jumping R2 actually killed him in one shot, though. That was great. Cool. All right, there are some hidden items here. You don't want to miss that single life gem, most importantly. But over here, you have a soul item and twinkling titanite and a petrified something. And this is a new summon. Ashen Knight Boyd? Ashen Knight Boyd. How are you, buddy? But we're not interested in you. We are interested in Benny. I'm going to summon Ben Hart of Jugo so he can help to satisfy his quest of helping us kill three bosses. Benny! That just sounded like I was going to uh, start singing Benny in the Jets, but I'm not. All right, Benny. You ready to do this? All right. Ready to go. Rebel's Great Shield should do some good work against this knight, I would imagine. Wow. That stamina damage, though. My word. Okay, I'm most most worried about his lightning attacks that this should actually be helping with. All right, Benny. Are you doing any damage? Because right now, he's not giving me the opportunity. Because the problem is, yeah, I can't actually attack that side because of his shield. And he is doing... Silly amounts of damage just with this physical. So we need to life gem up. Benny's gonna keep doing work. And hopefully. Alright, but Benny, you're actually in the way right now, my friend. Okay. I'm gonna see what we can do with this. There we go. There's some damage. Now I feel like I'm actually contributing. I, I can't attack you from this side. There we go. Well, that's going to hurt. Okay. It's about a quarter of the way there. Maybe a little bit more. Can I get two? No, I hit his shield. All right. But now we can go hog wild. Oh, that is really good damage. All right, so now I need to kind of play a little bit safer. I'm going to eat a life gem. I need to get that guy off of Benny. Just finish. Oh, I missed. That's going to hurt. Oh, oh, it's not. There we go. Good. We got his summon down. And the knight is not looking so good. Ah, a shield hit the edge. Hit the edge. Good. And that time I got two. You know what? I'm going to. I'm going to do this. Oh, almost finished. And he's done. Looking Glass Knight is complete. Very nice. Thank you, Benny. And you have a decent amount of health left. Sometimes he actually doesn't do so well. That was a good fight. That was fun. I, I actually enjoyed blocking his attacks as opposed to rolling under them. But now, ugh, now I'm not so sure about this next part. Soul Bolt, Spell Quartz Ring, plus two and three Bonfire Aesthetics. Not bad, nothing over there. Let us descend into a place that no one, no one should have to go to. I also don't have a bow. Uh, this is something that I thought about. I want to do a bow because it's going to make this area a lot easier, but that's why I actually ultimately decided not to use a bow. We're going into uh, the Shrine of Amana. Shrine of Amana, now, it is easier now than it was in the original vanilla Dark Souls 2. 
before any patches. But that is not to say this area should be treated with any less respect at all. Oh boy. It's going to be interesting with a heavy build, especially trying to actually block instead of dodging. Now this does have good magic reduction, so I think these sorceress's casts are going to be mostly negated by the Rebel's Great Shield, but that is not to say we're not going to take some damage along the way. Oh boy. Here we go. Okay. So Shrine of Amana has a lot of goodies to get if you're willing to look for them. We're going to do our best to find them all. I do love the look of this area though I will say that as far as aesthetics go you would be hard-pressed to find a more beautiful area in my opinion in Dark Souls 2 absolutely stunning level design but that's about oh why is there an arch Drake guy up here now come on you know what that's good though they actually do stun pretty easily which is nice because they actually have some decent poise. So if you try to stun them with a lesser weapon, come on, I need you come out here because I don't want to break that chest. Thank you. If you try to attack them with lesser weapons, you could actually find yourself just going right through them, doing some damage, but not actually stopping them at all. So that isn't all the loot up here. You do want to see this item over here on the branch. So just stand back. Give it a whack and we'll get it once we reach the bottom. Now this area can also be made a little bit easier if you have either if you're going to use a torch, which you're going to have to relight often because there's water everywhere, or if you use the sorcery cast light, which I have, but I don't have the stats to use it, so we're not going to be using it unfortunately, but it can make seeing the edges of the drop-offs a lot easier. So a little tip, and I'm sure you guys would pick up on this right away anyway, anytime you see that little twinkling, those are supposed to be flame butterflies dancing over these, uh, oh gosh, what are they called? I'll have to look up the name of these enemies, guys, I apologize, but anytime you see that, there is an enemy underneath, they are just lulled to sleep by the Milfinitos. But if you can get the jump on them, your life will be a little bit easier. Alright, I think I want to clear some enemies before I go for all the loot. Oh, oh, I forgot the deflection isn't all that great on Rebel's Great Shield, so I have to be careful there. I got another helm already, and you saw that I got Twinkling Titanite. Twinkling Titanite is actually a decently common drop from these enemies, so if you want to farm it, you could do worse than farming the Shrine of Amana. And obviously, once you get close, they do wake up regardless of whether you've attacked them or not. And another here. And another here. And you want to look carefully because this is an item I actually missed in my Everything Possible series. And someone pointed it out. But there is a chest. And I don't... Oh, goodness. Where is it? <laughs> I have to look for it very carefully because there's the edge. But there is a chest in the water. Maybe it's on the other side, actually. Nope, there it is. Very, very hard to see. Makes it a lot easier if you do have the cast light. But it's an Elizabeth Mushroom. It's not the most valuable item, but it's not a bad one at that. And then over here, you can follow these rocks. You don't want to go too far because the edge does drop off. But this right here is the item we knocked down from the tree. And a Flame Butterfly and some Twinkling Titanite. So, you know, worth having. Flame Butterflies maybe not that great because you can just buy them from Ornifex anyway. But Twinkling Titanite... Even though you can buy them from Chloe and still pretty valuable. We're just going to take our time, kill everything along the way. A lot of these enemies have incredible aggro ranges, so if you try to just run past them all, then they will uh, they will catch up to you. And you might have seen that the flame butterflies just dissipated, and they you heard that the singing had actually stopped. And that is because there's a Milfinito inside here, and she will stop once you get too close. Some crimson water. And was there another one? Yep, there is another one here. What do we get? Anything good? Human effigies. These guys do drop human effigies at a fairly good drop rate, so... Shrine of Amana, as dangerous as it can be, can be a really, really good place to farm.
I wish the Milfinitos had more of an actual story arc because they are really interesting. But for the sake of brevity, I am going to skip through their dialogue, yada, yada, yada. And there we go. You can get a smooth and silky stone. Each one will give you rewards as you come across them. But this area is done so we can move on. Oh, gosh, I wish I could remember the name. She will start singing again soon. Yep, there we go. She's singing. So these guys now have been lulled back, back to sleep. But you have three arch strikes coming up. And if you're not careful, kind of like I was. <laughs> well, actually, I only pulled one, which is surprising. You can pull all three at once. And that that is just not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. But what I like to do is I'll take out the arch strikes first. And then I'll focus on the outlying enemies. Let's back up, get some stamina back. And there we go. Now we can start looting. Heart strike boots. At least it's not another helm. There we go. I do clear the area. The drops are just, they're worth it, you know? Not to mention, you know, 300 souls for one shot in an enemy is fine with me. And what do we got? Another human effigy? Yep. Perfect. One more over here. Love that sound of the crit. Okay, now, before you go into the cave straight ahead... You can see a chest over there. You can also see one of these creatures. So just take him out. And loot the chest before you go forward. Dragon charm. Not too bad. Now you can see a lot of flame butterflies here. These flame butterflies are actually coming from in here. Where there are a number of those creatures. But you also have one of these poison horn beetles. Deal with him quickly because the gas that they spit out will break your equipment pretty quickly pretty quickly oh just brutal it was just an absolute slaughter online you'll often find you often find messages in front of this crack that say something along the lines of no way fatty or something like that something hurtful and, and mean hmm. so don't leave those messages okay kids not a boss, not a boss at, at all, but we can go through here, and we're actually going to be very close to our next bonfire. You can actually see it right there. You have three bonfires in total in the Shrine of Amana, which is actually really generous. Very generous. And we are going to rest so we can get our durability back. You can see an enemy just behind us. We can actually leave him. He shouldn't aggro as long as we go this way. Now we have the casters. Now let's see how quickly we can deal with them. Two shots? Alright. Not bad. Two shotting isn't awful. Let's see what kind of damage reduction I take. Oh, that's excellent. That's really good damage reduction. I appreciate that. I don't appreciate old knights. Come on now. But before we deal with him, in fact, you can probably skip him if you really wanted. Why are you there? Oh, bother. Okay. Let's... Oh, we're going to have to do some clearing before we get the next item. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I know. Oh. Oh, boy. Now, I can only hope... Oh. Okay. Uh, things are getting dangerous. I'm going to beat a... Oh, a hasty retreat, and I'm bleeding. And I'm bleeding. Oh boy. Keep going. Uh, where are you? Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Bother. I heard it coming at the last second. Well, now I know... That I should probably handle that a little bit more intelligently, like killing those aquatic creatures first. Because it was if it wasn't for them, I would have been okay. I would have been just fine. A 
Roll out of the way of that one. Oh, what'd you drop? Radiant Life Gem. Very nice. You can see the Ogre out there in the distance. He is guarding a pretty important treasure. Well, an area that contains a pretty important treasure, but it is a dangerous area. As you could probably have guessed. Alright, there's that one. Where did the others come from? I'm not actually sure where they came from. Oh, there's one there. Alright, let's try to get him. So we'll shield up just in case. Okay. I'm going to take a hit, but it's calculated. Oh, alright. Now let's hide behind a pillar. And heal up. Now we're going to charge again. Knowing full well that I'm... Oh, jeez. That I'm sure that these creatures are on their way. As is this caster. Alright. Is that a dragon rider? Oh my goodness, really? Another? Alright. Block. And deal with you. Got our fire seed. We'll loot on our way back. Because there is an item I really need to show you there. You can see there is a bridge underwater here, but apparently they decide to guard it with a, uh, a dragon rider for some unknown reason. Alright, there's another one right here. So this guy probably aggroed previously. And is there another one that I'm not seeing? No. Oh, there he is. Okay. And now we need to get out of here. Because I don't want to be playing around in the water with these guys. Alright. Come up on land. I have no problem fighting you up here. Here we go. Block. Block. Oh, get the shield up. Oh, get the shield up. And finish. Good. Oh, boy. Okay, now I can show you this item. In the water, over here, you will find, if you look carefully... Where is it? There it is. A Ferris Lockstone contraption. Using that, we'll illuminate that wall deadhead. And we will... Well, okay, maybe it kind of slightly off to the right. And inside, a very interesting, very unique weapon. This is the Helix Halberd. I was really worried that as I said that, they probably had changed the item location. But, take a look at this item and its moveset. That's the Grim Great Hammer. Where is it? There it is. So, it's kind of like a, a spear-looking thing, but you can see hidden in the handle, there's a point. And, when you use it, you can do the regular R2, or R1s rather, but then in R2, let's see if I can get a good angle on it, you can see those two wings actually separate, and then right at the end of the poke, that spear actually juts out. It can do some really, really good critical damage at the very end of that attack. Very cool. Alright, I don't think we're going to actually finish the Shrine of Amana in this video, just I don't want to make it go too long, but we'll proceed a little bit further get a little bit more loot, and then we'll wrap it up, and we'll have to finish it and do this in com uh, combination with the Undead Crypt, because the Undead Crypt is pretty short. Oh. That was a, a lock-on fail on my part. So what we need to do... Oh, the Dragon Rider. Why are you over there? I just can't even imagine a, a solid reason for this. But you know what? We can't even do anything with that. Any Well, I'll go over and I'll show you. Because behind those vines, there's a door. That door will not open yet because we actually haven't killed King Vendrick. So we'll be coming back. We'll go through there once we've killed him so we can actually do something with it. And it's not just a waste of our time. Good solid hits. You can see the caster over there to the right. And then also the ogre is going to aggro. So we're going to just run for the caster first. I think these are called uh, aberrations. Is that what they are? Something aberrations? I'll have to look it up in the guide. I'm not really sure. Wow, the uh, 
The ogre didn't actually aggro. Not yet, at least. He will. He will. Make no mistake. So I think what we'll do is we'll go out there, we'll get that item, and we'll get inside this building, and that's actually where we'll call the episode. Alright, Ogre, I need you. Oh, you dropped Human Effigy, most likely. Indeed you did. Oh, and the Amana Priestess dropped something. Oh, look at this. Trying to be sneaky over here. If you don't know where the drop-offs are, be careful. Tilt your camera down so you can actually see. Use a torch. Use cast light. Use something. But don't, uh, don't just assume anything. Alright. Can I get you to sit for me? Oh, boy. That's not what I meant. I actually want... There we go. Now sit. Sit, sit. Oh, Who's a good boy? I'll just do single hit so I can keep him in the loop. But you know what? How about a single hit like that? 205. All right. How about... Oh, that was much better. And finish. Good. Now, coming out here, if you stay in between the pillars, you are mostly fine. But every now and then, just tilt your camera down to be safe. Kill the enemies as you come to them. Because if you're going to be attacked by these uh, aberrations, as I'm now actually going to call them, maybe abhorrent aberrations? That actually sounds right. Then you also have the amount of priestess at the end that you're going to be dealing with. Actually, a pair of them. And that is not something you want to be doing. So, also be careful, because eventually... Eventually, eventually, right here, you can no longer go to the right of the pillar. So, do be careful. Alright. Good. Knocks her off. Now it's just me and one priestess. No big deal. There we go. Rebel's Great Shield. Highly recommended. Highly recommended. There's an Estus Flash Shard. As I said earlier, the one that we picked up in Dring Lake Castle is going to max us out at 12 anyway. So... This is just more so for you completionists, or if you failed to get one earlier, maybe you missed the one on the Pursuers platform, Force of Fallen Giants, who knows. But you can get a 13th one here, but it does you absolutely no good. Now, I am going to run out here before I go into the building, because there is another item out here, and it's... Oh boy! Oh boy! Ha <laughs> ha! It's hard to find. I recommend, if you don't have cast light, walk with your camera tilted down like this because there is a chest near the edge that you do want to pick up, especially if you are playing a caster and especially if you're playing a pyromancer. Oh, okay, right. Ah, I got cursed. Oh, boy. Well, there we go. There are cursed jars here. I'll use a human effigy in just a bit. Where's that blasted chest? Is it out here? There it is. Very well hidden. Very hard to find, but here, this will give you some idea. Basically, directly behind the building at the furthest most point, you can get Fire Tempest. A crazy, crazy AoE pyromancy spell. Why am I walking in zigzags? That will do massive amounts of damage if you can get enemies caught, especially in more than one blast. So this is, I would say this is about 75% or so of Shrine of Amana. There's one pretty small area that we need to get through, although this next gauntlet can be the toughest because there are a number of priestesses, there are a number of arch strikes, but if you want to make your life easier, but if you want to make your life easier and you're human, you can go ahead and summon, nope, not Lone Hunter Schmidt, get out of here, <gasps> um, excuse me, where's my other summon? I'm going to figure that out because there's another person here. I don't even want to spoil it. She's that great. But anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. We will pick up and finish the Shrine of Amana and the Undead Crypt in the next episode. And I will see you next time.